all of you uh, myself p babu a phd research scholar in the department of computer science alagappa university karaikudi tamil nadu india in this presentation i am making a comprehensive analysis on diverse skin types skin cancer and enhanced detection techniques using hyperspectral image processing and the in text part i have included abstract introduction survey reports proposed methodology uh, summary discussion uh, references then as part of the abstract we know very well that skin cancer a major public health issue manifest in various forms notably melanoma basal cell carcinoma and squamous skull carcinoma the prognosis for skin cancer is highly depend on yearly detection which has been significantly advanced by hyperspectral image processing this cutting edge technique captures a wide spectrum of light beyond visible colors this is what i would like to emphasize here providing detailed spectral inf information that can be used to identify and classify skin lesions with high precision hyperspectral image processing has emerged as a promising tool for non invasive high resolution image of skin lesions this comprehensive analysis reviews recent advancements to classify and segment skin lesions machine learning and robust statistical methods this comprehensive analysis examines the applications of hyperspectral imaging in the detection and differentiation of skin cancer types it outlines the principles of hyperspectral image acquisition and the subsequent processing techniques that enhance detection capabilities the paper discusses the, in, the the integration of machine learning algorithms with hyperspectral data which allows for the development of robust diagnostic models capable of identifying subtle variations in skin lesions that are indicative of different skin types the need for explainability and robustness in decision making processes is emphasized to ensure the effective translation of hyperspectral imaging into clinical practice in the case of introduction i mean i have given a very small a brief introduction we know very well that you know hyperspectral imaging a technique that captures detailed spectral information about the reflected or emitted radiation from a surface has shown significant potential in enhancing detection and classification of skin cancer by analyzing the technique the unique uh, spectral uh, signatures of different skin cancer types hyperspectral imaging can provide a more accurate and objective means of classification however the application of hyperspectral imaging in skin cancer analysis is still in its very early stages and there is a need for a comprehensive analysis of the diverse types of uh, skin uh, cancer and enhanced detection techniques using hyperspectral image processing by exploring the potential of hyperspectral imaging in skin cancer analysis this research aims to contribute to the development of more accurate and effective methods for skin cancer detection and diagnosis in the analysis report i have made a brief uh, outlines about the analysis report there are so many reports are available um uh, with us but i have a brief a small outlines the incidence of both non melanoma and uh, melanoma skin cancers have been increasing over the past decades and continuously the rate of patient is on the increase every day presently we know that between 2 to 3 million non melanoma skin cancers and 132000 melanoma skin cancer occur globally every year countries with the highest incidence of melanoma and non melanoma cancer were australia and new zealand if it continues like a storm on uh, one side 
the risk while the other side absolutely you will be accepting with me the economic liability for melanoma related skin cancer as the cost of treatment for newly diagnosed melanoma will triple by the year 2030 without uh, any new interventions if you fail to take preventive measures uh, studies uh, have shown that the uh, that according to the results of the global can cancer record in 2018 then small outlines about the impediment of uh, skin cancer age uh, the skin cancer is more common in older individuals with the incidence rate increasing with the age this is due to the cumulative effect of ultraviolet exposure over time then i have referred uh, two uh, papers in this regard in the case of ultraviolet um, exposure prolonged and intensive uh, uv exposure is a significant risk factor for skin cancer particularly melanoma this is because uv radiation damages dna in skin cells leading to mutations and uncontrolled cell growth i have given two references for this this is my uh, proposal study uh, wherein the first one wherein see image reduction pre-processing image correction segmentation sorry image correction feature extraction data reduction segmentation then analysis validation and visualization then moving to the proposed methodology in the capture image capture calibrate the uh, camera number one perform a radiometric calibration radiometric calibrations because uh, i have taken around um, more than uh, 26 journal papers and uh, i do not find anywhere about uh, this phenomenon uh, so i am i emphasizing on this so perform uh, the in calibrate uh, the camera perform radiometric calibration to ensure accurate reflectance measurements for the capture image acquire hyperspectral images of the skin area of interest this result in 3d data cube with spatial and spectral dimensions pre-processing noise reduction applying techniques such as dark current subtraction i am proposing and noise filtering to remove sensor noise in the case of reflectance conversions convert raw data to reflectance values using a white reference calibration spectral calibration correct for wavelength in accurates and ensure consistency across the spectral bands in outlines of figures i have included where wavelength regions for hyperspectral imaging in the case of image pre-processing which is a crucial step in image processing pipelines especially it tasks like skin cancer detection where the quality and information content of the images can significantly impact the accuracy of subsequent analysis noise reduction gaussian blur or median filtering when applying these filters to reduce noise caused by camera sensors or environmental factors in the case of denoising algorithm it relies advanced denoising techniques like non-local means denoising or wavelet denoising for more robust noise reduction in the case of image pre-processing steps image enhancement contrast adjustment i'm uh, focusing and for the histogram equalization which is a very very important concept in nowadays where spread out the intensity levels to utilize the full range of intensities available in the image and improving global contrast this is the one i am focusing with regard to the you know the histogram equalization as well as the contrast adjustment in the case of image pre-processing steps while moving to the image pre-processing steps we have to resize and cropping the images resize images to a standard resolution suitable for processing while maintaining aspect ratio crop images to focus on the region of interest for example skin license to reduce computational load and improve accuracy of 
subsequent analysis. Normalization and standardization Norm normalize pixel values to a common uh, scale. And in the case of standardized input features, for example, uh, mean uh, subtraction, division by standard deviation to improve model performance and stability. And image correction, geometric correction, I am uh, I'm focusing, wherein uh, we will be able to align images to correct for any distortions and misalignments. Illumination correction, where I am focusing, normalize for non-uniform illumination across the image. In the case of feature extraction, special, sorry, spectral feature extraction, extract relevant spectral features such as specific wavelength bands. This is, I am uh, again focusing, spectral indices, I am focusing on principal component analysis, PCA components. Spatial feature extraction, identify spatial patterns and features such as texture or edges that might be relevant for analysis. And moving to the uh, hyperspectral image, I am, you know, uh, uh, giving uh, an image wherein you will be able to see the wavelength with regard to the reflectance. And the figure one is one which is on the just above is the hyperspectral images wherein spectral bands can be wanted. These are some of the images I have taken. One is the, the, the spectral and spatial images. The first one, left side, and the the, hand, the uh, infected hands or the hyperspectral image of the hand are just below. And in the right side, I'm focusing the, you know, uh, an accurate face image reflectance. In data reduction and transformation, dimensionality reduction, apply techniques like PCA or linear discriminant analysis, LDA, to reduce the dimensionality of the data while preserving important information. Normalization. Normalize the spectral data to standardize the intensity values. In the case of segmentation, you know, a region of interest, ROI selection, automatically or manually select regions of interest within the image and for the clustering and classification, we have to use algorithms such as k-means clustering, support vector machines, ESFIM and neural networks to classify different skin regions or identify abnormalities. One of, one, of, one of the fantastic uh, the illustration I'm uh, giving uh, with regard to the, the left side, with regard to the multispectral and the hyperspectral. And one more thing, you have with regard to uh, an, an illustration, an image of wavelength, which will be useful for, you know, uh, for a um, histogram. In the case of analysis and interpretation, spectral analysis analyzes the spectral signatures to identify specific skin condition such as melanoma, eczema, or other dermatological issues. Pattern recognition use pattern recognition techniques to re to correlate hyperspectral data with known skin conditions or biomarker markers. Validation ground truth comparison I have taken in the study. Ground truth comparison. Validate the results by comparing with ground truth data. For example, biopsy results, clinical diagnosis, and in the case of you know cross validation, uh, use cross validation techniques to assess the robustness and accuracy of the model. Some of the illustrations I'm giving difference between hyperspectral. Um, with other spectral structures on the left side on the right side an image of ground truth comparison visualization here create visual representations of the hyperspectral data such as sparse color images or spectral plots to aid interpretation reporting generate reports summarizing the findings including any identified anomalies and the spectral characteristics in the case of comparative study, um, I have uh, very detailedly uh, 
made a comparative statement wherein the reference to when the reference to uh, wherein the Larissa A. Jardeva and others had a study on hyperspectral images of skin tumors and surrounding healthy tissue were imaged. Watsu method was used for segmentation of tumor area from healthy skin. Then uh, moving to the reference for where you know um, Yang Yang Gul used a portable device consisted of Raspberry Pi to capture magnified image of skin lesion. So the camera, uh, the camera Yaximia, X I M E A, was capable of capturing hyperspectral imaging of 16 bands from 465 nm to 630 nm. They developed a sparse coding method to classify images in hyperspectral data and, compo and, and compared the results with those obtained in RGB images of the same uh, scene. This data can be used for wavelength analysis they added. And uh, moving to the um, reference uh, 23, Hang Yi Hang used the hyperspectral technology was used to capture hundreds of narrow bands, narrow bands, with bands only, I would like to emphasize in my analysis as well by adding uh, some more advanced features. So, um, in hyperspectral technology was used to capture hundreds of narrow bands of the electromagnetic spectrum in the reference 23, uh, both within and outside the visible wavelength range as well as uh, bands that and uh, both within and outside the visible wavelength range as well as the bands that enhance the distinction of image features. YOLO version 5 based on the CNN architecture was used in reference 23 and in reference 26, Hang Yi Hang studied color to spectral analysis by integrating artificial intelligence and hyperspectral image to identify skin cancer lesions, mainly mycosis, mangoes, EMF. The model's high performance was validated by its sensitivity, specificity, and accuracy, making it a vital tool to dermatology identifying skin cancers and inflammatory conditions. So I have been successfully gone through 26 journals of a different nature, uh, like uh, from the, you know, the Wotsu method and uh, then to the um, spectral analysis by integrating artificial intelligence and hyperspectral image to identify skin lines, uh, skin, skin cancer lesions as proposed uh, by uh, Hang Yi Hang as per the reference 26. So from the results, I would like to conclude that you know this paper discusses the potential of imaging this paper discusses the potential of hyperspectral imaging in enhancing the detection and classification of skin cancer types including skin cancer and highlights the need for a comprehensive analysis of diverse skin types and enhanced detection techniques. The paper reviews various hyperspectral imaging devices and techniques used for capturing images of skin lesions including the development of a hyperspectral dermoscope for enhanced skin imaging. It also discusses the applications of hyperspectral imaging in dermatology including the detection of and grading of skin erythema and the analysis of skin morphological features using snapshot hyperspectral imaging. The comparative summary provides provided herewith substantiate the need for further research in the field of hyperspectral skin image.
in as part of the discussions various techniques for skin cancer detection have been analyzed and compared in depth from the observations hyperspectral imaging techniques has emerged as the predominant process for the detection and diagnosis of skin cancer in conclusion hyperspectral imaging represents a significant advancement in the field of dermatology particularly for the detection and diagnosis of skin cancer the paper concludes that hyperspectral imaging has significant potential in enhancing the, the detection and uh, and classification of uh, skin types continued research and development in hyperspectral skin image and ultraspectral skin image with more bands with more bands than the uh, present uh, studies are essential to the effect that overcome current limitations and ensure these technologies can be effectively utilized in clinical practice ultimately leading to better patients care and outcomes and uh, with regard to the feature scope which i would like to emphasize that the skin cancer detection through image processing techniques has shown promising advancements in recent years this study exposes the future scope of enhancing diagnostic accuracy and efficiency through innovative computational methodologies leveraging machine learning algorithms particularly convolutional neural networks holds significant potential for robust classification of skin lesions based on high resolution images future research aims to integrate multimodal imaging data such as dermoscope and reflectance confocal microscope to further refine diagnostic capabilities additionally advancements in real time image analysis and cloud based computing infrastructure are poised to democratize access to accurate skin cancer screening globally this abstract outlines the evolving landscape of image processing in dermatology emphasizing its transformative impact on early detection treatment planning and patient outcomes i have the reference i have uh, show it here Thank you.